Live from beautiful Oriole Park at Camden Yards, we're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound today, Kyle Bradish. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. And now for the Twins, Jorge Polanco. Got it by him for the K. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Here's Carlos Correa. 1-1 one, one now. And fires in a fastball at 95. The one two fouled off the plate they'll do it again and he chases that one back to back strikeouts well anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Royce Lewis. Run around the goal. Blocked by the catcher, and he steals second base without a throw. This one trailed right center field. That one heading for the fence and gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2-0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. So two down. So up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. Next offering in the dirt. And a count two and one. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. The other way, and he beats the shift. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Runner at first with two away. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. The pitch. And that skips in the dirt. pitch hit hard that gets through throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out four hits in a row and they're really swinging it here that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you got to make them pay 
Joey Gallo steps to the plate. The 1 1. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, and that's a great play for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle, diving stop, completes the play, and that ends the inning. Back here in Baltimore, and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, and into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Not shortstop. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run here's Adley Rutschman swing and a miss as he was late that time that just misses two balls two strikes well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Anthony Santander at the plate. The next pitch misses. Three and one. And here it comes. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Polanco tosses the first. That ends the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They trail it here, 2 nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Ryan Jeffers. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And next for Minnesota, Michael A. Taylor. The 2-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Riding to the plate. Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. The 1-1. One -one. Yeah, that's outside. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 
three one and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. First and second, one out. Now Correa up to hit. Two on, one out. Foul ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Byron Buxton. Next pitch is downstairs. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two and one now, two aboard. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Comes a 2-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Jeffers on second. Polanco on at first with two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. of inning number two and here's the first baseman Ryan O'Hearn the wind of the pitch lifted in the air down the left side that one gets down for a hit Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Here's a two on. Fouled off. He was late. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. No outs, runners at first and second. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw. The run comes in to score from second, and now they trail by one. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. First and second, 
No outs. And now it's Austin Hayes. And he deals. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Pitch in the dirt, and that's ball three. Adam Frazier next to bat for Baltimore. First and second here, no outs. Swings and misses. And now it's three and two. Right through there. Got him. Now one away. Here's Adam Frazier. And a big swing and a miss. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Mullins, the lead runner out at second. Mountcastle at first, two out of the inning. Bounce to third. Lewis throws to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Top half of the third inning. Now the third baseman, Royce Lewis. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Ball to strike. The pitch. Hot shot to third. On to O'Hearn. And a quick out number one. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Max Kepler at the plate. One for one with a single so far. Next offering is downstairs. And that's downstairs and outside. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss there. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hayes snags it for the second out. Here's Alex Kirilov. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. The next offering misses. Two and one. That clips a corner. Next pitch misses inside, and the count's full. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Kirilov tries to check his swing. Now a look to third, and that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. Twins are set down 1-2-3 as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back now at Oriole Park at the play. Gunnar Henderson. The wind of the pitch. 
They say you win. Rip to third. Lewis. Jump throw. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Adley Rutschman now at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. That one finds the zone. And it's one and two. The wind and the pitch. Off the mark there. And yeah, that's ball two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Got him. Now two out. Anthony Santander getting ready to hit. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. But why to kick the pitch? Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One, two, three. Go the Orioles. They're down two to one. Start of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Here's a 1 1. That one missed. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. The 2-2. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Michael A. Taylor, the next twin up to hit. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Jeffers over at first with one away. And the next pitch is way outside. Kicks and fires. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Back to the top of the lineup. Now at the plate, Jorge Polanco. 
and a pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. Two out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. So first and second with two outs. Carlos Correa, the next twin up to hit. So now one and two. One Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Chopper right side, tosses to first, that ends the frame. Twin strand a pair, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back. Now, Ryan O'Hearn. The first baseman. That one is absolutely belted. Taylor on the move, heading back. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Left hand batter waits. Liner to second and picked on the hop. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. And now the D.H., Ryan Mountcastle, singled and drove in a run his first time through. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for the Orioles, and our score remains 2-1. Coming on for the Orioles, Tyler Wells. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Byron Buxton. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Here comes a pitch. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Royce Lewis. One for two with a two-run homer back in the first. The two on. And fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Three balls. Movement Three. in the bullpen. Jacob Webb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Three-two now. Swings and misses. Two away. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's throwing fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And a 1-1. 
And a foul ball. And the righty deals. And that one hammered back there. It bangs off the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. Man in scoring position with two away. And now the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Oh. Next offering upstairs. That clips the corner. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. Here's a 2-2. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. Joey Gallo waiting for a turn at the plate. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Right side. Frazier tosses to first. That's out number three. Twins wind up stranding one. They lead it 2-1. Head to the bottom of the fifth, digging in Austin Hayes. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game, but if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. Next one misses three and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And now a full count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Went down on strikes his first time through. Home team down a run. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Good eye right there. Jordan Westberg waits on deck. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Substitution being made at first. And here's the pinch runner, Jorge Mateo. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. First time up, he grounded to third. Well, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Now moves to first. Mateo back safely. The 2-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Activity in the bullpen. Yoan Duran warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Two-two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. 
Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Mateo runs. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.